And welcome to this Illinois Wesleyan Titan Coaches Show. I'm Eric Stock, joined by Patrick Freeman, who is the head women's golf coach at Illinois Wesleyan. Coach, good to have you here. Thank you. It's nice to be here. As you get ready for your fourth year, you had your first tournament uh, last week at the uh, Classic in uh, Oshkosh, Wisconsin, uh, finishing third and fifth overall in the 12-team event. Can you just give me a summary of how you feel the team did? Yeah, yeah, it wasn't too bad for our first event. Um, the first day we got through about four to five holes and it was a downpour. So we played about two holes and some pretty torrential rain. Uh, so we had to delay the first day and come back on the second day to finish up with 32 holes or 31 holes. So it was a pretty long day for them, um, but I thought they handled it really well with, with their composure and how they um, carried themselves through the round, especially for a long day like that. And uh, this, uh, this your fourth year here at uh, Illinois Wesleyan, coming up back to back conference championships, going into the NCAAs last year, placing in the placing in the top 20, being picked to win again this year. You feel a certain amount of pressure for the for the team to deliver this year. You know that's a good question. Um, as far as pressure goes, there's always you know it's always nice to be picked first to win again. Um, I think that does come with a little bit of pressure, but you know. We've got three to four returning from our top five from last year, um, and we've got five incoming freshmen. So we've got a pretty young but strong um, competitive team, and, and we've got a lot of good depth. So I think what's beneficial for us is we get to play six in conference and count four of those scores. So um, I think there is a little pressure um, to, to carry that number one weight on our back, but you know I think we're going to be able to handle it pretty well. Sure, it's nothing that the team hasn't had to go through before with the expectations, given the success that uh, the program has had historically. Sure, and, and I think the girls kind of enjoy um, having that top seed going into it. And, and you know, we have a lot of friends in, within the conference, too. So we're just enjoying or excited to uh, play those three days. Well, as you come back home uh, this weekend, you get to play in town at uh, Wybring Club in the Redbird Invitational. Yeah, we're pretty excited to get back in that. I know um, when Kathy Neapagan was the head coach, they played in, in it a few times. And um, it's just good experience for the girls to play with a lot of Division One teams um, and to see a little bit higher competition, a little bit longer distances. Um, so I think that's going to help kind of prepare us into playing these more competitive tournaments like the um, Destin Golf Week for D D3 and Conference, making sure we're getting the highest competition possible before we go into those tournaments. And is this a course where some of your players have experience? Yeah, they, uh, they have a few summer tournaments that they play. Um, um, I know Jordan Kohler and Riley Lukes both played in um, Wybring tournament this, this summer and actually got first and second, so we were pretty excited to see that. Um, we're excited just to kind of see what they can do uh, this weekend. Does familiarity with the course help at all? Uh, if not, uh, you know, uh, at least, you know, perhaps from a psychological standpoint and their familiarity with it? I think it does. Um, we'll be able to play a practice round on Saturday, so whoever hasn't played will be able to play um, just to kind of get, get a feel for it, take some notes. but. I definitely think that the players that have played it before will have a little leg up um, on some of the other players within the field, and um, that should should have an advantage, but you still got to get the ball in the hole. Indeed, and then uh, next week as you stay in town uh, hosting your own classic uh, at uh, Ironwood, uh, give us an assessment of uh, your expectations there. We've got some pretty high expectations for that. We play it every day. That's our home course for practice. Um, we've got 18 teams coming, um, so it'll be a pretty big, good competitive field for our fall classic. and. Um, we're excited. We're always excited to host and, and get those teams to come in. You know, it'd be it'd be great to win that one. And lastly, going back to uh, the NCAAs last year, if you could just give me a look at what your expectations are uh, heading toward the postseason this year. Sure. Um, last year they they made a cut, which was the first year for women's golf to have a cut in the NCAAs. Uh, we found ourselves outside the cut after the first two days, and then fought really hard the the last the third day to make the cut and finish 15th on the third day to go into the final day. Um, this year, I think we have a young but very talented team. So I th so if we can win conference and get past that to go to the NCAAs, I definitely think we could be a top 10 finish, um, just so we don't have to put the pressure on to try and make the cut. Indeed. Well, we appreciate the time. Uh, Coach Freeman, we wish you the best of luck this weekend and the rest of the season. Thank you. Patrick Freeman, the head women's golf coach at Illinois West.